Arcadia is my vision to create a context and initiative via my garden and education charity in which can be explored and understood the practical philosophy of humanity in harmony with wildlife and the environment. Arcadia was an ancient Greek province. Its mountainous topography and sparse population of pastoralists caused it to intimate an idyllic vision of unspoiled wilderness with bountiful natural splendour and harmony. The inhabitants were often regarded as having continued to live after the manner of the Golden Age, without the pride and avarice of later corruption. Across time, painters such as Friedrich August von Kalbach, Thomas Eakins, Thomas Coles, Jan van Hussum, Joshua Crystal, Marco Caroli, George Lambert, Nicholas Didier Bouget, John Constable, Jan Willem Pienemann, Daniel Dupre and Claude Lorraine, amongst others, dealt with Arcadian-like subjects and painted scenes intimating visions of such harmony and peace. That aspirational vision has been largely lost in our drive for progress, materialism, control, dominance and of exploitation of the planet. We have seemed to become cut off from our own planetary home and our fellow creatures, and they, like us, have suffered as a result. Middle Earth, our own Eden, has become lost to us. This spirit of balance, harmony, creativity, respect, interdependence, pervades all aspects of how my garden was designed and built and how it now is managed and made available in its many projects for public welfare as a registered charity for the advancement of education in horticulture and conservation. Its unique garden offers insights of the balance of opposites, hard and soft landscaping, man-made and natural materials, formal and informal design, contrasting zonal rooms, inner and outer life, flowing and still water, rugged and soft planting, places for wildlife and for humans, modern and traditional, cultivated and wild, reflection and stimulus, loss and replacement, structured and unstructured. It is a place of wildlife, peaceful repose and harmony. Here I try to delight the eye, enrich the mind, gladden the heart and uplift the soul. By creating a garden of opposites combining a oneness, it offers an image and focus of the potential for revitalizing the individual and society, the inner and the outer, the macro and micro environment in a flowing symbiosis. A much needed vision and teaching resource in today's world as we strive to solve the problems that beset us. I have been interested in this interplay since my teens, and over the years it emerged in my writings and my artworks. The garden and the charity is the clearest and most practical expression of it. Its various workshops, courses, programs, videos and books include this principle in its teaching. Arcadia then betokens the option of our restoring our partnership with Earth and rediscovering the essence of ethical and harmonious living, to enhance our lives and society, fulfill the potential of our life journey, and heal the planet, perhaps we need to practically embrace the tantalizing prospect and vision of Arcadia. <laughs>